I come down from the Sandcastle every year. It's just awesome. We've been coming here for 12 years now. Fort Myers Beach is packed with beachgoers here to check out the completed sand sculptures. This year, you can definitely tell there's more traffic flow. About 75 to 80,000 people are expected to be here this weekend. That's more than up to 15,000 compared to last year. It also means a lot more hot dog sales. How many hot dogs do you think you sold so far? Probably about $2,000 worth. With all the sculptures completed after a three and a half day working period, the judges weighed in. People are casting their people's choice vote. Since the results from this poll, as well as the winners from other categories, will be announced later on, I couldn't help asking around myself. I'm going to vote for Mount Olympus, and then I'm going to vote for Trillion Castle. My favorite is that one. The waves are so perfectly done, and the sharks are perfect too. I'm kind of partial to the Rapunzel and the monkeys. I like the Indian. I like the, the expression. It's, it's so well done. The tongue of was incredible. Very beautiful. And she had already done a sculpture and collapsed. I wish it hadn't crumbled. The spirit over here. At least six of the 18 master sculptures prematurely crumbled this year. It's a rare occurrence for it to happen. It usually only happens when it rains. But ironically, this year's problem seemed to be due to the lack of water. We've had very dry weather, and we need to go really deep uh, to get the moist sand, but for environmental reasons, we don't do that. One master sculptor caught a lucky break. It was judged at 5 o'clock, then somewhere between 6 and 7 o'clock in the evening, the top tower dried out just a little bit at the bottom and collapsed. Regardless of the early erosion, the festival attendees were very appreciative of the artists for sharing their talents. I think it took a lot of time and hard work and patience. I like it so much. It's so great. This is amazing what you can do with sand and water. For more information on the festival, you can check out their website. Reporting for the News Press in Fort Myers Beach, I'm Christine Lee.